look at that dude with the light popping behind him. Today we're going to be doing a bit of a behind the scenes look at one of our photo missions here out on the beach. We are going to be doing a surf style photo shoot today with Hannah. We got this really cool new board that we just got and it's a perfect day down here on the beach. We're going to be doing like a behind the scenes look at how we're capturing these photos, bringing you guys along, really showing you what we're doing, what we're thinking of, why we're doing the things we are. I find that it's easiest for you guys to learn and understand what we're doing when we really just bring you along and show you the full behind the scenes process in a kind of a raw way. Also a little bit later on in this video, I have the water housing, like the whole camera housing. So we're gonna jump in the ocean and hopefully get some really cool photos of Hannah like paddling around and sitting in the water. And then after that, we're gonna come back here once it's sunset. And these are probably the photos I'm looking most forward to because when the sun gets low here and this whole place starts to get all golden and nice, it's gonna look so, so good. So stick around for that. We got some interesting things to work with. We got all this long grass and it should look pretty cool. You ready to shoot? Sweet, yeah. For you. Oh, oh. The light is a bit weird now, it's a little bit harsh, so we're gonna have to just be a little bit mindful of the super harsh light. Today's video is sponsored by Storyblocks. Storyblocks is an awesome online stock website, and we're gonna be talking about them a little bit more later on in this video, but a huge thank you to Storyblocks for helping us create this awesome content. The other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is maybe if some of you have noticed, there has been a third person filming some of our videos and getting shots of me and Hannah, and that is because we have recently actually got another person to help us out with these videos and it's actually my brother, Jason, and he's gonna be helping us with shooting these videos and editing these videos. It's gonna be super helpful and we're gonna be able to make better content for you guys and more videos. So Jason, do you wanna say what's up to these guys? What's up? This is How's Jason, going? my brother, and he is also a videographer and photographer and it's gonna be amazing having him on the team now as well. With all that being said, let's start shooting some photos. I'm shooting on my A7 III with my Tamron 28 to 75 as always. First photo, let's just get Hannah walking out of these like long grass. I always like to kind of think a little bit about having a bit of a story in my photos, even if they're not put together in that way. But for this, we can get you kind of arriving at the beach and then, like I mentioned, we're gonna get down to the water and actually shoot some stuff in the water. So something that's quite cool that I'm doing here is because it's so backlit and the light is so harsh, by having this massive whiteboard in front of her and Hannah's face being here, it's acting like a massive bounce board, like a foam core or something. And we're able to light up her whole face and it works out quite nicely. So that's a nice little trick and just helps us out when we're shooting into the light. We're gonna get Hannah to go and stand out on the dune down there. I think it's super important when you guys are shooting photos to shoot a huge variety. Don't just shoot the one same style thing and think you got something that's good enough. Shooting a bunch of different things gives you more options later on when you guys are gonna be picking your best photos in Lightroom or whatever and having a variety will really help you. Including foreground in my shots is seriously like one of the biggest tips that I could ever tell you guys and that's why I talk about it so often. But if your photos ever looking kind of boring or it's just not quite as cool as you think it could be, try and add an element of foreground. It just creates that another layer of depth and it often makes your photo just look way, way cooler. So I'm gonna try to do that by using some of this dune and some of this grass and then having Hannah there and then having that background. So we'll have those three layers and it should look good. down to the shoreline we just noticed Hannah with this background of this mountain and just like the vastness of this beach it looks so cool so we're gonna quickly grab a shot or two here on our way down Maybe I'm lost, wandering alone in the yeah. and use the mountains sort of as leading lines and almost as a vanishing point they all go to that point right behind Hannah and that's just gonna help, especially in a shot where it's such a big, vast shot and Hannah's so small, it's gonna help draw the viewer's attention and eyes to Hannah by having those lines from the mountains 
going there right behind her. One more shot of Hannah's face, kind of close up. And again, you can see how like the light is filling in Hannah's face so much with this big board being just a massive reflector. It works out really well for these like more harsh light environments. So let's shoot a cool shot like that. It looks really nice with you sort of resting on it. the perfect day to actually get in the water and shoot some ocean photography. This is something that I've been meaning to do more of like so much recently and I just haven't gotten around to it. I haven't like barely used this water housing. This housing is for my Sony a6300 and I have a 16 millimeter f1.4 Sigma lens so it's nice and wide but super shallow. I actually have the dome port on right now and if you guys have ever wondered how people get those shots where it's like half underwater and half out of the water, you use one of these dome ports because it pushes the water away from your lens. I don't think we're gonna be shooting too much of those split shots, but I do definitely wanna get some of the water in the bottom of my frame, kind of like some foreground almost. And yeah, this thing is brand new. I have never used it. Let's take this off. I don't wanna do it. Ooh. As much as this water looks super inviting, it is actually freezing, freezing cold. So we're gonna have to get our wetties on and we're gonna head out and hopefully shoot some really cool photos like out in the water there. By the time we get back, the sun should be really nice and low and then we're gonna be able to start shooting sunset photos. Super cool, super cold in there. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea if I got anything usable or not, because it's, it's impossible to see the screen while you're like in the water and under the water. So I'm kind of just blind shooting and hoping I get something. The other thing I noticed, there's so many droplets on the dome and the camera keeps focusing on the little droplets, which I don't know, I hope I got some that were in focus. Other than that, the water is like so crystal clear and blue. It's amazing in there, so Hannah's going to try and catch some waves and then the sun is getting really nice and low. Just we have been chilling out for a little while. The light is starting to get a little bit low in the sky. Something that I'm really excited for because we're going to start shooting the like more sunset photos now is check out this puddle over here. Like you can see how smooth and glassy it is. And as soon as the sun gets a bit lower, we're gonna be able to shoot like reflections of Hannah in there with the surfboard. And I think they're gonna turn out super, super cool. Definitely gonna be the best photos of the day. Just before we do get into that, I wanna take a quick second to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Storyblocks. If you guys don't know by now, Storyblocks is an online stock licensing platform with over a million different assets. They offer sound effects, they have music, they have next level stock footage. If you guys are videographers or content creators, Storyblocks is hugely beneficial to you and it can really help you elevate your projects. When you sign up for a Storyblocks subscription, you get unlimited downloads all for that small monthly fee. So it's definitely something worth checking out. If you guys want to find out more, I'm gonna leave them linked down in the description. I truly do think it is something beneficial for creators like you and I. So make sure you guys go and check them out. Other than that, sunset is about to start happening. I got my camera ready. Are you ready to start shooting? Yeah. Let's shoot some awesome sunset stuff right here on the puddle and on the shoreline. Right now 
now because the sun is low enough to create this really beautiful backlit shot. Oh, these are looking, these are looking amazing, yeah. Just keep moving around. And what I try to do is just kind of block the sun behind Hannah and then reveal it and like bear it with like putting it in and out from behind her. You get some really interesting light burst and like sun flares. This looks amazing. Put the board all the way down to your head, Hannah. Yeah. shooting in this light look so so good wherever we point the camera it just looks amazing these are definitely the best photos of the day by far and shooting into the light with that sun popping out looks so epic Dude with the light popping behind them. Mm. So sick. Amazing. Okay. I cannot wait to start editing these and I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. Oh guys, you know when you have those shoots that just like work? This was one of those shoots. The ocean was so so blue and such an awesome crystal blue color that it made it easy to capture photos that looked amazing. I definitely think one of my favorite photos from the day is actually this one of Hannah's face kind of looking more close up at her face with that board. It's a really interesting composition and that board coming in in the, in the side of the frame is really nice. And we have that low sun shining right into Hannah's face and lighting up her eyes, making them really glow. Awesome photo of Hannah and definitely one of my favorites for the day. From in the water, I definitely tried to use that dome and get those over under split shots. And I kind of got a few that are cool. They're not necessarily as cool as I thought they would be, but they did still work out. Like this one of Hannah, you can see that fin in the bottom that's all out of focus. And then she is in focus and nice on the top of the water. There were quite a few droplets in this photo that I edited some of them out and applied a nice grade. Once the sun got low and it was sunset, the light was looking so, so good. We shot directly into the light and I kept trying to like pop the sun out just behind Hannah to create that really interesting look with those lens flares and everything. And I think it turned out really nicely. One of my favorites is this one of where Hannah is standing with that board above her and that sun is just shining right through, really making an interesting composition again. And this is probably my favorite photo of the day, if not that other one that I said was my favorite. But yeah, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I had so much fun shooting all of these photos and this video for you guys. It was awesome shooting with my brother and I am really, really happy to have him on board to be helping us with the videos. Now, if you guys wanna use any of the presets that we used on these photos, they are available on my store and they are 25% off. You can find the link down in the description. Remember to check out Storyblocks for any stock assets that you guys might need. They are truly amazing. They are also gonna be linked down in the description. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for coming along for the adventure and I will see you in the next one.